win. What changed in that second half, right? We're tied at halftime, and then second half, you guys sort of explode offensively. You figure some things out defensively. You really limit more in Justin. Just what were there changes at the, in the second half? You guys just finally sort of found offensive rhythm, and the defense kept playing the level they were playing all game. Yeah, I mean, we talked at halftime about about exactly that. I thought we were defending pretty well. We had a game plan to, to come in and, um, you know, Gustin hurt us so much in the first game and we really wanted to try to dig the ball out of her hands, uh, make other people make other people make baskets. I thought we did well in the first half. Our offense, you know, 26 points isn't enough to beat very many teams, so we need to find ways to generate offense. And, um, you know, it really was less about what, what we kind of did as a coaching staff and more what our veteran players just decided they just kind of made up their minds that they you know wanted to to get some things accomplished you know just stepped up and was a scorer and she doesn't often look to be a primary scorer but she really took on that that role and was hugely effective I mean that was a you know that was changed the course of the game for us you know yo did what yo does Jasmine made some really nice cuts I thought um you know I thought Jasmine and Kia both did a really nice job on uh on on Politea, you know, until the end of the game. I think she got two three-pointers there in the last minute or two of the game. But prior to that, they were doing a great job. So, I mean, it was a really, really good team defensive effort. Um, I told them after the game, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me because they, you know, whenever they, they really put their collective um, mind to doing something, um, they have demonstrated that they're highly capable of accomplishing all of their goals. You know, it's just um, figuring out how to get how, how to get things to be urgent for them and um, to get them to engage every game that way. But, you know, we had challenged them to, to play out the rest of the season uh, and be consistent. I thought thought we did that. I thought this was a really great demonstration of what they're capable of. I mean, you talked about Jess a little bit. She's not a big scorer, but that third quarter, she gets a couple of threes, and it looks like you're like, all right, Jess is hot. Let's like, keep calling it forward. Just, mm -hmm. you know, when someone gets hot like that, someone who's not a big scorer, how much does that just completely change the game, and how much did you – yeah, I mean, I think, you know, they were face guarding Yo for most of the game and, you know, it was just hard to to have to have Yo, you know, create something for herself all the time. So we wanted to keep the floor spread out and, you know, just set some screens. And, you know, initially we just, you know, set some screens to have Jess be able to penetrate and find open, open players because, you know, you don't never know if Jess is going to take a shot. But she took a couple shots, made a couple shots, so then, you know, you try to stick with things that are working. And it was also a way for us to use some time in the fourth quarter off the clock. And, um, you know, as long as we continue to play good defense and then get some good shots and, and predictable shots on offense, we kind of felt pretty good about that fourth quarter. And then just beautiful cocktail season, just inability to win two games in the weekend. You played two really big games this weekend yeah. on senior day at home. Just talk about how this win sort of checks a lot of those boxes and gives you some momentum going into this final weekend and then obviously the tournament. Yeah, I mean, the only thing we can control is ourselves. And, you know, I, these guys are you know, so many players with so many years of experience, whether it's here at USF or in other places from which they transferred. Um, you know, they just they need to use that collective experience and intelligence that they've that they've earned over the course of their careers and, you know, bring that to each game. Um, it's a limited amount of possessions left with this team. And, you know, we've encouraged them to just really take advantage of that, take advantage of playing with the teammates that they that they enjoy so well um, and, you know, put ourselves in position to, you know, hopefully be able to have a, a great run at the conference tournament. Talk a little bit about the six kids you recognize today. Obviously, you're not a superstar, but all of those kids have had very meaningful moments yeah. throughout, you know, whether it's been one year, two years, four years here in USA. Yeah, and that's just the six that are – fourth year players, you know, there's, there were three more that are, you know, fifth year players that we didn't recognize. So it's a lot of experience. It's a lot of players that have been here. I've been here seven years. So some of those kids have been here for the majority of my career at USF and we've really grown to, to know, know one another really well on and off the court. And, you know, they've come in and, um, made this, a a culture and a, a program and, uh, place that I have enjoyed coming to every day. So I, I hope that has been the same experience for them. You know, their work ethic, their commitment, their loyalty to one another, their trust in one another, their enthusiasm, their engagement every day. Um, they take it really seriously. Uh, and it's just, it's been a pleasure to coach them. It's been 
um, an honor to coach them. And, you know, I hope that, that we have, you know, a few more weeks left. Uh, I saw, you know, a tenacity and a commitment to a game plan. You know, I think they were, um, they didn't feel good about how we played the last time that we played BYU. I think they wanted to come out and feel like they could, um, you know, play the, you know, we always talk about playing the way you're capable of playing, not necessarily winning the game, but let's go out and play the way we're capable of playing so we can feel good about ourselves in the locker room afterwards. And I think that you saw that from, you know, Abby and Lauren and Kia and Kennedy, who did the bulk of guarding down there and helping in, Jess digging in. I thought, you know, they made up their minds and, and we had a game plan to, to really try to make it difficult for her to score baskets on us. You know, she's a phenomenal rebounder. It's, you know, she's getting offensive rebounds three on one on us sometimes, and, and she does that on everybody. But I thought for the most part, we did a really, really good job of that. And I thought it was disruptive. I also think they're a little bit tired. You know, she's played 40 minutes, two games in a row on the road. But, um, you know, I, you know, our team should feel really good about what they came out and accomplished today. You know, consistency, you know, we need to come back on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and get prepared for what's happening Thursday and not get ahead of ourselves. And, you know, we've put a lot of a lot of time and energy into preparing for this week and talking about each individual game and coming out and showing up, you know, and that's again, consistency has been our challenge. So can we come out and be the same team on Thursday this week and do it? do what we'd like to get done at Pepperdine, do what we'd like to get done at LMU. So, yeah. Thank you, Mom. All right.